My name is Bisan Alazikani. I'm head of data science at the Institute of Cancer Research. Machine learning is actually a very old capability. We've been developing new technologies for machine learning and now we're uh, in the areas of really big data. We're going into deep learning and, and artificial intelligence methodologies to help us. There are wonderful techniques where you can interpret different data. They could be data that's coming from chemistry in the lab or genetics from a patient in the clinic, but at the end of the day, they're just numbers. And once you have them all together as numbers, well, you can just do numerical and mathematical analyses on them. And I think this has been really wonderful, having biology sort of drive the mathematics and then the mathematics feed back into the biology has been a really wonderful symbiosis and it's really powerful. So in terms of how we use the machine learning, we are building something called the Knowledge Hub, and the Knowledge Hub brings all of these data together. We are representing the data in a non-classical way. We are representing the data as a really massive graph of knowledge, integrating data from across different languages. And we are developing machine learning approaches that sit on top of that graph to discover knowledge and help us make the right connections. So the way cancer works is a gene malfunctions, it produces a protein which is malfunctioning and that drives a cancer. And a lot of the drugs that we discover work on those genes and proteins that are malfunctioning. So once we collated all the data together, it was really easy then to ask questions, is there something different about what makes a good cancer drug target versus everything else that you might find. And that's really where machine learning comes in. So you calculate as many different properties about successful cancer drug targets as possible. And you look to distinguish using machine learning. Can you predict what other genes that we haven't looked at have similar properties? And the nice thing about machine learning approaches is that they can help you identify which of those properties are important and then help you build predictive models. And that's basically what we did with the cancer targets. We look for information about the physics and the chemistry of the protein that is in the body, how it's acting, does it have cavities within it in three dimensions where you can fit a drug to block its action, that kind of information that we then build the machine learning models on. So the benefit of bringing these data together and applying machine learning technologies is twofold, I would say. One of them is the fact that it gives you suggestions and hypotheses much faster. But there's another important factor, which is actually you will discover things that you would have never known before. So it's hidden knowledge discovery that I would say is really the powerful result of, of uh, machine learning.